Get busted to the pack. It is pack here. The NBA playoffs this year have been pretty good so far for the most part. Some, some are kind of blowouts, but for the most part, I've been enjoying it, right? We have not gotten another roster update for NBA 2K21, nor are we going to get any more. So what I want to do is discuss the roster update that we probably should have gotten, the playoff roster update for NBA 2K21. Before this video starts, please be an OG, join the pack and subscribe. Let's go through all the playoff teams right now and see who needs to upgrade the downgrades right, right now. We always start off with the Philadelphia 76ers. A team has been playing very well lately, even though they lost the first game against the Hawks, they just destroyed them in game two. They're playing well. The obvious person is Tobias Harris, in my opinion. He is punching way above his weight, outplaying Ben Simmons, in my personal opinion. He's been showing up, especially in the first quarter against the Hawks today. So easy plus two for him. And then another person, Seth Curry. The fact that he is anything below a 79, maybe even an 80 overall. So what, plus three, plus four for him? is insane i think he's the fourth leading score on this team right now and it's like not even close for the playoffs like get out of here he's been he is one of the best shooters in the nba he has everything the sixers needed as a shooter he's great i can't believe it and then finally if i had to give a downgrade to somebody i'd say shake milton now they're not playing him as much but he's just not being as useful as he usually is so just minus one but not a big deal for him so for the milwaukee Bucks. I want to start off with Brooke Lopez playing very, very well. Defensively rebounding and scoring all of it. Plus one for him. 80 overall clip. Easy. The opposite is Bobby Portis. Somebody that's not playing that well. At least, I don't know. I think this is his first playoffs ever for my understanding. So to be fair, that usually happens with somebody that's new. So minus one for him, but he's still, I mean, it's not a big deal for them. And another player that gets a plus one, Bryn Forbes. It is, he's getting buckets. I mean, he's not a good defender, but that's not what they have him for. And they don't need him to play defense. They need him to get buckets. And that's exactly what he's been doing in this playoffs. He deserves a plus one at least, right? This next team for the Boston Celtics, okay? The obvious person is Jason Tatum at least a plus one, maybe even plus two. I understand that there's less people helping him because Jalen Brown is hurt, but in the playoffs against the Nets, he did amazing. He even somehow got a game on them. Like, Jason Tatum is playing amazing. Well, was playing amazing. There's a piece, right? But yeah, he was averaging, I think, 35 in the series against the Nets. Out of his mind, he's only 22 and only getting better. But my man Kimba Walker is kind of getting older and just not doing what he did last season. And you have to give him a minus one. At least a one minus one because he just he's not been playing well. But Marcus Smart had himself a good playoffs. He played good defense. Actually got some buckets. So I think it was a second leading score for the team. Plus two for him. I think he deserves that for sure. Okay, for the Clippers, it's obvious. Kawhi plus one at least. I want to throw you guys some stats. 32 points per game on 61 field goal percentage as a forward who also likes to shoot threes. He's putting up the best numbers in the playoffs right now. He is insane. You know, they probably shouldn't have barely beat the Mavericks. They probably should have destroyed the Mavericks on paper. But it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, Kawhi came out of nowhere and pulled through. And playoff P is a real thing now. Plus two for him. 90 overall club, in my opinion. He's finally playing better in the playoffs. So I think he needs to be upgraded as well. Another person, Reggie Jackson. I'm going to give him also, I'm going to say a plus three. He's been playing really well, especially against the Mavericks. He's been the third best player on this Clippers team right now. He used to be so good on the Pistons, and he's looking like Pistons Reggie Jackson in these playoffs. For the Grizzlies, it's, I mean, even though they, they lost to the Jazz, John Moran played out of his mind this playoffs. Plus two, easy. He's going to be a problem for the league for a long time. And Dylan Brooks, I can't believe Dylan Brooks is a 76 overall. He's a bucket. I don't care what anybody thinks about him. I know he's not good at anything else, but the man is a bucket. And that just, that alone puts him in the 80 overall club. He was a second leading scorer easily, averaging 25 in the series. He he probably should be the second or third or fourth best player on this team. The fact that he's not at least fourth best player is crazy. Now for the Hawks, Trey Young 90 overall club. I, he destroyed my Knicks. It, there's nothing even more to say. He, he is so good. And he even took a game off the Sixers so far. He's amazing. He's amazing. Uh, Bogdan Magnanovich plus one as well. He actually, you know, in the regular season, he was not doing good, but he figured it out in the playoffs for sure. He's been a bucket, getting threes, hitting threes, playing really well. Okay, so for the Heat, I don't want to be too brutal on them. So Jimmy Butler minus three. <laughs> I know, I just said that and then that. How he played in the playoffs was just atrocious. I get that they had a very small offseason. They didn't get a lot of time to rest, but Jimmy Butler just didn't play well. And that's just a fact. Um, he's still in the, he's still in 89 overall. He, well, he should be right. Um, he's still great. It's just, he struggled in this series. It, it all, it is what it is, right? Tyler Hero as well. Played terrible. Like absolutely terrible. Minus one for him. Shot, I think maybe the worst field goal percentage in the playoffs so far. Terrible. 
And then obviously Drogic plus two, he played very well. He was the only person on the heat that I felt play well. So I think he deserves that. The next team is the Utah Jazz. Nobody is gonna be like too much of a surprise here. Donovan, Donovan Mitchell should be in the 90 overall clip. He's, he's the best player on this team. He's a bucket. If they wanna win a championship, he needs to be amazing. And so far he is. Another player who needed to play good, Bojan Bogdanovic. I don't know if y'all remember, uh, last year in the playoffs, they lost to the Nuggets, and we were all like, yeah, but Boyan was out. And then this year, Boyan came back, but he started playing terrible the regular season. But in these playoffs, he figured it out. This team is at full power right now, and Boyan is, is one of the reasons. He needs to go up plus three, 80 overall club again. And then the other player, Derek Favors, has kind of been kind of like irrelevant on this team right now. So minus one for him. But still, I mean, it's, he's still fine. So for the Knicks, okay, Julius Randle minus two. He had a bad playoffs. It's his first playoffs. I still love him. I still think he's he's most improved player of the year. Awesome. He had a bad playoffs. So therefore, minus two, and that's it for him. RJ Barrett, I'm not going to change because he was already underrated in the first place. So I think he's accurately rated now. But Derrick Rose plus two. He played, he was easily the best player on our team in the whole series. So Derrick Rose the veteran, plus two, he played amazing. The Lakers, we're gonna get a lot of downgrades here. Dennis Schroeder, minus one. Andre Drummond, minus one, obviously. Both just, just needed to do better when Anthony Davis was out and they didn't. And that's just, like, there's no excuse. There's no excuse. And Kyle Kuzma, minus two, he was atrocious. He was, he was maybe one of the worst players in the playoffs this year, I just atrocious. Okay, so for the Mavericks, Luka Doncic, plus two. I know you think that's a huge upgrade for Luka Doncic, you didn't see him play. He was dismantling the Clippers. They threw everything at him and they couldn't figure him out. They just, if it wasn't for Kawhi Leonard playing like the greatest player of all time, they would have been the Clippers. But Luka Doncic, I mean, was playing like a top five player in the league easily. 96 overall for him at least. Porzingis on the other hand, minus three. He played awful, awful. He might be on the thumbnail of this video because he was just so, just so bad, so bad. And then Tim Hardaway Jr. plus one. He was the only one on this team that showed up besides Luka. Like, he was the only one that showed up. Good for him. For the Nets, there's no one to really talk about besides Blake Griffin. I think he's playing really good. He's playing like a, a good tool for the Nets, and he's doing a good job of it. He's not putting up amazing numbers, but when you watch him play, he does a good job. Plus one. He's playing like he wants to win, and I give him credit for that. 100%. For the Nuggets, there's only one obvious one. I was going to say Jokic, but like, putting him in that 97 overall is kind of a lot, but... You could argue plus one for Jokic. I'll give up that. But but the only obvious one is, is Austin Rivers. Third leading scorer in the playoffs for this team. He's been amazing. I can't believe the Knicks let him go. He's been awesome. Plus three at least. He's been so good. Okay, so for the Suns, I'm going to say Devin Booker plus one. 90 overall club. He's been amazing. Like literally the best player on this team easily in my opinion. Just easily the best player on this team. DeAndre Ayton plus one. He's been not, he has not been afraid of the playoffs at all. He's been sh like showing up and playing an amazing role for the Suns team. And then I think an underrated person in this playoffs so far is Jay Crowder. I think he's been really good. I think he's been really good for the Suns. A veteran presence. I mean, for the Blazers, it's the only person that showed up. Well, that's not true, but Damian Lillard plus one. It's not that nobody else showed up. Everyone played exactly like their rating. That was all it was. And it just wasn't enough. But Damian Lillard played even better than usual. So I give him that. And finally, the Wizards. I'm going to say it. Nobody. It's not fair to them. They played the Sixers. The Sixers were way better than them. Like way better than them. Yes, Russell Westbrook shot terrible, but like Bradley Bill also shot terrible, but like they didn't even like, they did what they could. I applaud them for even making the playoffs when they were like not supposed to make it after like a first couple games of the year. So yeah, no, no change for them. That's my opinion. What do y'all think? Leave it in the comments below. And if you like this channel, please give it a sub and I'll see you guys next time.